Hey there guys, this is Robert from AfroRumors.net and uh, as I promised on the forum somebody asked me to um, review Cartoon Wars and this is my review of Cartoon Wars. I'm not sure if the light will help or... Alright, I'll keep the light off for now. And uh, so basically when you, the app starts up, it's a very basic app. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have played this game on Flash or some kind of Flash site or something like that. And um, you, they have some options here like ranking. And the ranking will take you out of the app and bring you to Safari. Um, so let's load the app back up here. And um, let's look at the actual gameplay here. Um, as you will see, it's a very basic, uh, it's a very basic kind of gameplay here, and I'm just gonna set it down, kind of this stand the case has, and I'm gonna click continue since my um, my gameplay has already been going, and um, you get a score point and you get gold, and I'm at stage 23. Uh, it's taken me a kind of a little while, and you have options here. You can tap upgrade. And uh, when you tap upgrade, you can upgrade like your warriors, your ninjas. Uh, you can upgrade like goblins and dark angels and stuff like that. Um, and like you have an arrow. I'll show you that when we start playing. But you have an arrow that you can control, and um, you can control the fire speed, and uh, you can control the range and the damage. Um, and you also you have this thing called mana, and that's what. Um, what pretty much produces your warriors and your ninjas and gunners and stuff like that and uh, you can upgrade the max value of that and the reproducing rate and stuff like that and you also can uh, upgrade your the, the gold reproduction uh, so it's a lot higher and um, so let's set this down let's select uh, battle and First thing you see here is I have my castle, that's the mana booster, and this is to control the, um, whatever, whatever you want to call that, <laughs> uh, arrow. So I'm going to move over here. You can see that they already are sending goons and goblins and things. I'm going to select my gunner I have here, and um, I'm going to pause real quick. See, one of the main pet peeves I have about this game is it doesn't go by um, like a lot of the apps do when you actually play them um, the, the audio is of uh, like music audio and like audio of that of um, of anything media media but this game's audio actually goes by the ringer so I have to turn the ringer down and after I get done playing the game because you know the game's kind of the audio of the game kind of gets annoying but I still like to hear it um, at a low volume I have to remember to turn the audio back up so I'm going to hit play here again I'm going to continue on to shoot those out and you hit see I have options down here and um, those are the men that I can send out I'm just going to send out a bunch of warriors and I have two gunners out there right now and the red line right there obviously would be the health of my castle and the mana booster right there would be um, the, if you tap that when it's lit up you can upgrade it so as you can see up here, the max man you can get is 1500, and um, down here the max thing I can get down here to um, actually buy with the mana is I think 1800. So I would be out of luck if I actually tried to, you know, upgrade that or send that kind of warrior out. So I'm gonna send out one of my gunners or my cannon people. And as you can see, he's running out there, and. Um, it's kind of cool. The game scrolls by the accelerometer, so if I tilt it this way, um, you can see their castle. If I tilt it this way, I'll go back to our castle. If I, I can co kind of go in between here. And it seems like my uh, cannon here is doing all the work right now. So I'm just going to send out another um, cannon guy here. Gunner, whatever you want to call him. I'm just going to send a bunch of warriors with him. As you can see. <laughs> and... Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the guy or the game. So yeah, as you notice, you don't want to have your um, arrows going too far because then end up killing your own people. And uh, so yeah, 
that's my review of uh, Cartoon Wars, and this is actually surprisingly a really addicting game. I'm gonna pause it here. Um, this is actually a really addicting game just because uh, it's so simple. I mean, you're not really involved, and uh, usually it's the simple games that always rank high in the App Store just because you can play it and get rid of it, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal to you. Um, like most of the apps that are 9.99 kind of thing, like Need for Speed Shift. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a good New Year.